Lee is a very cool and strong character, and is only as difficult to play as you want him to be. He's a combo which leads to 60 damage and is very easy. A lot of people have a problem with his back two loops, which normally make up the bread and butter of your combos, so let's go through some of the problems you may be having. If you're having this problem where your character isn't going into his misstep, that's because you're not letting it return to neutral after inputting the forward input. You can practice your back two loops on the ground if it makes it a little bit easier. Now if you hit him in the air and your second or third back two loop isn't catching them, that's because you're too slow. It should look like this and it's one of those timings that you just have to practice. Here's a good bread and butter combo that doesn't require any back two loops, so it's easy to do once you've started to get used to the character. Funnily enough, you only ever need three back two loops to do the most optimal combo for Lee. You may have noticed during my combo that I entered my while rising to four input. I'm not actually entering a crouch state and then going into two four, I'm actually doing it out of my sway stance. You can do any of your wild rising moves out of your sway stance except for the four input because that is an actual move. If you're just getting your neutral jabs or your other inputs, it's because you're either not returning to neutral or you're going too slowly. Now here's Acid Rain, one of the best 10 frame punishers in the game. As a beginner, you can just default to 1, 2, 4 if you feel like because it leaves a hitman stance or misstep. But say we want to practice our acid rain, well first you hit one three, and then the next three when it hits their head, and the last three when it hits their waist. You get a free up back three after your acid rain, or if you're a little bit better, you can try for a blazing kick. Now here's one of the more trickier just frames in the game. You actually have to hit the four input as soon as it strikes him in the head, which is much easier said than done. An actual very useful just frame is Triple Fang. Triple Fang isn't very useful without the just frame, but with it, it becomes exceptionally good. The just frame version knocks down and is actually safe on block, although it is still a high. To do the just frame version, you actually have to input the second one input at a specific timing. You can add a mechanical delay by doing back one, two, one, two, or back one, neutral, back one, two. This will help you get the just frame every time. This move is an exceptional whiff punisher because it goes from pretty much cross map and it can go into misstep if you miss, or it can go into hitman stance or just block if you fucked it up. Now one of the core moves in Lee's kit is his while standing two, three into his forward, forward, three. The move can be broken up into while standing, 2-3, and forward forward 3. If you get the start of Acid Storm, it means you're too early, and of course if you miss it, it means you're too late. Slide is one of the most powerful lows that Lee has, and unfortunately just requires a lot of practice. You can actually do the first two inputs very quickly, and then just hold the last input slightly before inputting the three. You always get a guaranteed 3 afterwards if you hit them with a the slide. Alright, that's kind of all the weird stuff that Lee has, so good luck with your Lee adventure.